Hello guys, in this video, I am going to introduce you to Mindy. Mindy is simply chat GPT sort of stuff in your inbox. Currently, AI tools are usually constrained to a chat window or are limited in the way they can directly help your day to day life. Mindy claims to be able to provide tangible value to your existing communication channels. Mindy can interact with your through your email and help you with work ranging from conducting research for a paper to scheduling virtual meetings to helping you plan your next vacation. The creator of this Mindy product want Mindy to become everybody's personal chief of staff at home and at work. To make this vision a reality, they are building a product that is simple, powerful and trustworthy. When they say simple, it means that all you need to do in order to use it to just send an email as you would to a friend or a colleague asking for help. You don't need to install anything, you don't need to download anything or any plugin and you don't need to become a prompt engineer or tinker with your English or any other language for that matter. Mindy is quite powerful too. It just gets stuff done instead of you requiring to learn any AI. Mindy works with you, Mindy works for you and gets better at it with the passage of time because it learns from your habit which is a bit scary too. Mindy is trustworthy as per them. It only shares data that you are comfortable sharing. Mindy earns the trust as you progress using it. Also, it has received Sequoia funding. So seems like a good product and project to me. Let's see it in uh, action as how it works. Now, in order to get started or start using it, all you need to do is to just click on this get started button and then it is going to ask you for your email. Once you provide it your email, it will send an email to your inbox, something like this. Now, from this inbox, all you need to do is to send Mindy an email with your question and Mindy is going to reply to you. For example, let me see, I could uh, use this uh, example. So it is for deep research. It says that I can help conduct thorough research on any topic you might be interested in. I can search the internet, draw well-founded conclusion and synthesize pertinent result in the form of graphs or charts okay try it out click here and then you can see it is sending this email to m.mindy.com just any title and i'm asking mindy what's the most efficient way to search for information on a 3d graph or network let me click on send it has been sent and it uh, will send the response back to my inbox let me go to my inbox so it's been almost five minutes and Mindy hasn't returned. Anyway, so I will wait for Mindy's response. It should send me an email back. But meanwhile, let's also send a few other emails and try it out. You can also analyze a document with it. So if you have long got documents or files you don't have time to read, it can help read through synthesize key points and highly relevant parts of the file. So click on try it out. There you go. So I think we can also attach the file here and send it to Mindy and then click here. And it is going to summarize this PDF document. That is done. It can also organize meetings. So if I, I think it is going to put it in my calendar if I uh, want. So can you add a calendar event for my dentist appointment? Okay. And then weekly digest, try it out. So can you send me a daily digest that summarize stock market performance? It is going to subscribe to you to something. Sounds cool. But thing is that it hasn't still returned anything to me because it's as i said it's been quite a almost seven to eight minutes now i'm waiting so i think speed could be improved here but anyway if you think about mindy what mindy is doing mindy is simply a chatbot in your inbox you can do all of these things easily in chat gpt or any other hosted model like bart or even on the open source models if you have hosted them locally so nothing really groundbreaking here i would say but the only thing which stands out which is quite useful is your um, the integration of mindy with your inbox which is quite good and it is a very loose integration you haven't installed any plugin you haven't installed any extension you haven't downloaded anything which is quite cool so all we are doing it uh, we are sending an email to an endpoint which is basically its email m uh, what was that m at mindy.com so pretty straightforward tool that looks good 
but one thing which is quite disappointing is the response time i haven't received any response uh, it's been now almost 9 minutes let's go back to mindy's website now if you go there you can see that um, they have some video tutorial that's how it works for example this is what we did we just sent email to uh, mindy and then mindy is coming back i'm not sure um, how long does it take for other people please try it out on your system too let me know if you received it quickly so you can see that it took bit of it i mean because they must have curated this video so they are doing all of this stuff and then there you go so well, this, this is what we just did and there are a lot of other use cases which we can do anyway let me go back to my inbox and see if i was able to receive any email back okay took around 5 minutes as you can see from the timing i sent it at 8:44 and i have received it at 8 almost 8:48 now on my clock so 4 minutes which is quite long in my opinion anyway so the response looks quite good same as you would receive from any llm of top quality one but it has really curated it uh, what's the most efficient way to search for information and it has given us all of these responses that you can search from here 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 and then it is asking that you know if you need further assistance i think you can just reply to um mindy from here and it is going to chat with you through the email which is a novel concept i would say anyway when it works works really good i think this latency could be improved um, but anyway email is an offline medium we don't expect it to you know happen instantaneously instantaneously like chat so this can be ignored other than that i really like the tool i think uh, one of the good tools um, easy to use i always am wary of these extension and plugin installations let me know your thoughts in the comments i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching